the Samsung Galaxy Note 9, a phone so ahead of its time, it felt like holding the future back in 2018. Big screen, bigger battery, and a stylus that could do, well, everything except make your morning coffee. Even Linus Tech Tips himself kept daily driving this beast long after newer flagships flooded the market. And why? Because it was that good. But let's get real for a second. The Note 9 now, it's like a classic car, still gorgeous, still powerful, but the software, oh man, it's stuck on Android 10 from 5 years ago. Back in 2018, Samsung dropped this legend, and it practically bullied other companies into taking productivity seriously. Fast forward to today though, and Samsung's shiny new devices with One UI 6 are out here flexing features like it's a TikTok dance-off. Meanwhile, the Note 9, it's just sitting there in Android 10 jail, wondering what it did to deserve this. But guess what? You don't have to retire this legend. Nope, you don't have to let it gather dust in some drawer. Because today, I'm going to show you how to breathe new life into this retro powerhouse, transforming it into a modern Android 14 machine with one UI 6.11. And no, this isn't one of those sketchy download this shady app hacks. We're talking legit custom ROM territory, smooth and loaded with modern features. Oh, and by the way, this works for the Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus too. So imagine this, snappier performance, better battery optimization, and yes, all the beloved S Pen tricks, now dressed up in 2024 software sophistication. It's like turning a classic 90s Mustang into an EV, but without losing that iconic roar. You're keeping the spirit alive while updating the software under the hood. With this custom ROM running One UI 6.1.1, you get modern features straight from the Galaxy S24, like that handy circle to search feature. Just hold the home button for a second and voila, options pop up to help you search and find info instantly. You've got Galaxy AI baked into calls, chats, transcription in the voice recorder, drawing assist, the Galaxy editor, and even the keyboard. And let's talk customization. The options are insane. With good luck, you can take it to the next level. Personalize everything from keyboards to AI-generated wallpapers. Oh, and the Bixby key? Remap to trigger Gemini with Gemini Live features that feel straight out of a flagship. This ROM honestly makes your Note 9 feel like a modern Galaxy S24. It's that good. Sure, there are a few minor bugs here and there, but nothing major. Once you try it out, drop your feedback below. Help others weigh the pros and cons. Ready to bring your Note 9 back to life? Let's get started. Now, if you've ever wanted to feel like a hero, here's your chance. Smash that subscribe button and help me hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And hey, don't stop there. Drop some feedback in the comments. Whether it's a glowing review or a polite roast, I'm all ears. Like or dislike the video, just let me know what you think. I can handle it, probably. I'm going to walk you through every step and by the end, you'll be rocking Android 14 on a device with a headphone jack, yep, that's still a thing, expandable storage, remember that, and build quality that doesn't feel like a hollow piece of glass. First things first, this will only work on the Exynos models. Oh, and heads up, this procedure will erase everything on your device, so make sure to back up your data. Got it? Cool. Now. For this method to work, you need to be on the latest available stock firmware, Android 10 with One UI 2.5. And don't forget, charge your phone before diving in. Anything above 50% should be good to go. Lastly, you'll need to download all the files I've linked in the description. These include both the essential files and some optional goodies. It's totally up to you if you want the extras. Just make sure you grab the necessary ones and have them saved on your machine. All right. First things first, turn your Wi-Fi on. Head over to settings, then tap on software updates and check for any updates. If there are updates available, go ahead and install them. Trust me, this will save you from any issues later on. Next, go to about phone in the settings menu. Tap on software information and then tap the build number seven times. This will unlock the developer settings for you. Once that's done, head back and find developer settings in the settings menu. Got it? Perfect. Now tap on it and enable USB debugging and OEM unlocking. You'll see a warning when enabling OEM unlocking. 
Just go ahead and confirm. This might reset your device to factory settings, but don't worry, this is part of the process. If your device doesn't give you the option to reset, that's fine. As long as the OEM unlock toggle is on, you're good to go. For those who see the reset option, let your device factory reset and reboot. When it boots back up, go back to developer settings and you should see that your device is OEM unlocked. Great. Now turn off your device completely. Grab your data cable and your laptop. We're about to enter download mode. Here's how. Hold your phone, press and hold the Bixby button and the volume down button at the same time and then connect your cable to the phone. This will trigger download mode. Once the screen pops up, press the volume up button to continue. Press it again to boost the brightness. Now, switch to your laptop. Go to the folders where you downloaded your files and extract the Odin file. Once extracted, open the folder and launch the Odin EXE file. When Odin starts, you should see your device connected. Check for the indicator to confirm. Next, click on options and turn off auto reboot. Then, click on AP, locate the TWRP recovery file in your folder and select it. Good. Now hit Start in Odin. You'll see the recovery flashing process begin and in just a few seconds, it'll be done. When the process is complete, you'll see a pass message on the Odin screen. And that's it for Odin. Now, let's boot into the TWRP recovery we just installed and continue with the next steps. Here's how. Press and hold all the buttons together. As soon as the device powers off, release the volume down button, but keep holding the rest. Then, the moment you see the Samsung logo, release the power key, but keep holding volume up and the Bixby button. Wait a few seconds, and there it is, the TWRP recovery logo. Once you see that, you can let go of the remaining buttons. Great job, now you're in TWRP recovery. Once in TWRP, tap on wipe, Select Format Data and type Yes to wipe the device. This step will decrypt your phone's storage, making it visible on your computer screen. Next, go to your downloaded files folder on your computer and copy the patch TWRP file into your phone's internal storage. Done? Perfect. Now back to your phone. Tap on Install, locate the file you just copied and swipe right to flash it. This process might take a few minutes, so hang tight. Once it's done, reboot your device back into recovery mode, just like you did earlier. When your device boots into recovery again, go back to your files folder on your computer and copy the universal repetitioner file into your device's internal storage. Then, just like before, head back to your phone, tap on install, choose the file and swipe right to flash it. This time, once the flashing is complete, your device will automatically reboot into recovery mode. You'll notice now that your phone's storage is no longer visible on your computer screen. Yep, we need to wipe it again. So, go to wipe, select format data, type yes, and let the device wipe itself clean. This will bring back your phone's storage on the computer screen. Now, if you run into any trouble copying files or anything else at this point, don't worry. Just reboot your device into recovery mode again and that should fix any issues for you. Now, copy the cleaner file into your phone's internal storage and flash it the same way. Once the file is flashed, your device will reboot itself back into TWRP recovery. And that's it, you're doing awesome. Keep it up as we move to the next steps. Once your device reboots, it's time to go back to your downloaded files folder on your computer. This time, copy the ROM file to your phone's internal storage. Keep in mind, this might take a few minutes, so hang tight and wait for it to finish copying. Alright, once the file is copied, head back to install in TWRP. Find the ROM file you just transferred, tap on it, and swipe right to start the installation process. Now, you'll see a setup wizard pop up. Toggle on the switch then tap next on the next page select clean install and again tap next here's where things get specific on this page choose the rest of the world csc then tap next now select your country's csc don't see your country on the list no worries just do a quick google search to find the right code and select it tap next to proceed 
Now we're at the advanced deployed screen. Tap on it, then tap next. On the next few screens, remember, whatever you toggle on won't be installed. So customize these options based on your preferences. Or if you want, you can follow the same choices I make here. Just tap next after each selection. Next up, the build prop tweaks. Again, make your selections or follow my lead, then tap next. On the CSC tweak screen, choose what you'd like to apply. This part is entirely up to you. Tap next once you're done. And here's a fun one. You can actually remap the Bixby button to anything you want. Once you've made your choice, tap next. Now on the system extra options page, it's time to get creative. Choose options like the AI editor, dex mode, or even a custom boot animation. Read through the options carefully, decide what works best for you, and then tap next again. On the next screen, I recommend selecting clean magis for root. Why? Because if you skip this, your banking apps might not work. For the remaining options, I'll leave them as they are. Once you're ready, tap next. And there we go. The installation process will now begin. This might take around 5 to 10 minutes. So sit back, relax and let it do its thing. When it's done, tap next, swipe and reboot your system. That's it for the recovery part. Now just be patient at the boot screen. It'll take another 5 to 10 minutes before you reach the welcome screen. Once you're there, pass through the generic setup steps. Be sure to allow USB storage access since we'll be transferring a few files again. Finally, check your Android version in the About Phone section of the settings. And congratulations, you've just installed Android 14 with one UI 6.11 on your old Galaxy Note 9. How awesome is that? Next up, connect to your Wi-Fi and tap on the Magisk app to get it installed properly. Once it downloads completely, open it up. Now, whenever you see this pop-up, make sure to tap Cancel every time. After that, go into Settings within the Magisk app and enable these two options. Once that's done, go back and tap on Modules. You'll notice that the Play Integrity Fix module is already installed. Now let's move on to the optional apps. If you're interested in installing them, start by copying the files from your laptop to your phone's internal storage. Select all the files on your laptop screen, paste them into your phone, and then open your file manager on the phone locate the files you just transferred. Here, you can directly install the APK files. Start with the GoodLock app. Just tap on it and install. Once that's done, go ahead and install the other APK files one by one. Take your time and make sure each one installs properly. If you find any additional APKs online later, you can install them in the same way. Now, for the files labeled as modules, these need to be installed through either the Magisk app or TWRP recovery. Let's start with Magisk. Open the app, tap on modules, then choose install from internal storage. Find the module files you transferred earlier, tap OK, and the installation will begin. But sometimes things don't go as planned. If the installation fails, don't worry. We'll do it through TWRP recovery. Before we jump into TWRP, there's a quick step to handle. Go into your settings and search for Play. You'll see Google Play Store and Google Play Services. For both apps, go into their settings and wipe the storage data one by one. This step is crucial, so don't skip it. Now, head back to Magisk and tap the option to reboot into TWRP recovery. Once your phone boots into TWRP, go to Install, locate the module file and swipe right to flash it. Let it finish installing and then reboot your device. And that's it. Enjoy your Galaxy Note 9 with its brand new software. Experience the speed, the clean UI and all the new features it brings. If you give this a shot, I'd love to hear your feedback, whether it's positive or negative, down in the comments. It'll help others make an informed decision too. You've been watching Connest Tech, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care and enjoy your updated Note 9.